And you can find this NPX study on um, our website, myohionow.com, which is, by the way, a newly updated website. And I think you'll find that it really highlights the idea of issue six, yes for a housing resort casino. But to give you some background on, the, uh, on this impact report, and if you do need a copy, we can supply you with one. This is an impact study done by Michigan Consulting Group. It's a completely independent uh, body. They do their research completely independent of My Ohio Now and Lakes Entertainment. And again, the results are actually stunning. Uh, for months, Mr. Lertzman and myself have been saying certain things that are true. Uh, at least we believe them to be true. 5,000 jobs that can't be outsourced. Uh, we talk about 2,600 construction jobs. We've talked about an $800 million casino. When you look at the impact study, and it's a very in-depth uh, impact study, all those figures are validated. Uh, and in fact, many of them are exceeded. Why we still believe in 5,000 permanent jobs, this impact study calls for more. Uh, why we've never really touted the idea of jobs coming from other businesses, this impact study points to three or 4,000 additional jobs and why we call for a casino that we thought would generate about $800 million in gross gaming win uh, per year. This impact study is calling for about $850 million. Uh, Rick and I have always centered on the casino. We thought the casino is certainly something that's important, but it is a resort destination site. 1,500 room hotel, according to our impact study, will generate about $338 million in revenues. We've talked about eight different restaurants for people to choose. 2,500 seat theater, a convention center, a spa, a golf course. It's a truly destination resort. And this will make this casino greater than a $1 billion a year uh, business for the state of Ohio. And again, those are all independent figures. And we're simply bringing these to your attention because we want to make sure that as deceptions begin, and they will, uh, that our figures are absolutely verifiable. You know, our casino is the kind of business that is not looking for copious tax abatements. We plan to pay local, state, and federal taxation. And already the naysayers are claiming none of the money goes to the state of Ohio, which is, of course, a blatant lie. As soon as we sell a t-shirt, as soon as we sell a soda pop, as soon as someone stays in our hotels, revenue is generated in terms of things like state sales tax or property tax or the cat tax, and that money does go to the state's general fund. So when you hear people say none of the money goes to the state government, they are wrong because they haven't looked at the entire situation. Um, in terms of the $800 million, that is a tax beyond the normal business taxes and applies to the casino <coughs> directly. And we, we have speculated that $240 million would be available, and this impact study supports this. We've made a public announcement because, again, we want people to understand our position. Lakes Entertainment, which is governed by the SEC, whose books are open to the IRS on a daily basis, and My Ohio Now, who has always tried to be a very clear, transparent, transparent company, has always maintained that we will pay a 30% tax, and that's exactly what we intend to do. We recognize that the state legislature understands common sense and will enact that kind of legislation. And lastly, we are preparing a document which we'll have in short order, which will talk about the issue of Native American gambling. But I can quote Blake Watson today, a professor at the University of Dayton Law School, who rates the opportunity of that happening of one in a thousand. And I think we'll have a more definitive paper within the next few days, really explaining that Indian Native American gambling has nothing to do with this election, which is something that some opponents are trying to twist into the election. The bottom line is, for clarity's sake, our intentions are clear. Our petition only pertains to taxable entities. Indians never pay a tax. And even if one were to come to the state of Ohio, it would not change our petition one iota, nor change our tax structure. If we're paying 30% today, the Native American casino opens tonight. We don't think it ever will, but if it does, we'll still continue to pay 30%. And these are issues that we need to clarify with the press and the media and the public now, because as I said, it's a new campaign, it's a new way of doing things. This is an Indiana company that is, has been deceptive before, that is coming in under really very false pretenses, and we need to have the record clear today, because we believe when the campaign starts, it's going to be really one of deception. Without further ado, 